In October 2021, Kubernetes Networking Special Interest Group transitioned an experimental Gateway API, previously known as a Service API before February 2021, to an official Kubernetes API, though in alpha status. Gateway API is designed to be portable specifications supported by many implementations and vendors. Can I, can, I, um, can I tell them? Is it okay? Okay, cool. And today we're happy to announce the initial support of Gateway API in Kubernetes Ingress Controller for Quonk Gateway. Hello there, I'm Victor Gamov with Quonk, and in this video I will tell you everything you need to know about Gateway API and how to use it with Quonk. Roll the intro. Ingress API has many limitations, so long-term vision for Gateway API is to supersede it. I talk about some of those limitations in my previous videos. You know the drill. You can always find all these things that I mentioned in the description below. But in short, Ingress API has focused solely on L7 workloads like HTTP and HTTPS, and previous Ingress model the actual gateway underlying proxy server was implied by configuring ingress class for ingress resource. So with the gateway API, the gateway object is a central resource in the cluster that represents underlying proxy server. Gateway API resources support core functionality for header-based matching, traffic weighting, and other capabilities available in ingress only through custom annotations. You can share gateways across namespaces and allow load balancers and the VIPs to be shared, and route resources to be attached to the same gateway. This allows teams to share infrastructure safely without direct coordination. Gateway API supports typed route resources and different backend types. This allows the API to be flexible in supporting various protocols like HTTP, gRPC, TCP, UDP, and various backend types like Kubernetes services, storage buckets, or even functions. So here's the example. Infrastructure provider like Kong will configure gateway class. When you install controller, your Kubernetes administrator will configure Kong via gateway object. And you, as a developer, you can define this type routes to bring the traffic to your applications. In this preview release of Kong Ingress Controller, we implemented gateway class, gateway, and HTTP route. Other objects will be implemented in the next versions. This video will show you how to enable and configure gateway and HTTP route. I already have an existing Kubernetes cluster with Kong Ingress Controller deployed. If you don't know how to do this, I will provide some of the tutorials how to do this in the description below. In the future Kubernetes releases, gateway, gateway classes, and all these route resources will be available as a part of Kubernetes installation, but today we still need to install them manually because specification is work in progress. So let's jump right in. I already have my Kubernetes cluster up and running. Cluster is deployed in GCP. You don't have to have that big of a cluster. I just like to have it over provision. Next thing is that I also have my Kong deployed via Helm. As I can see here, it's up and running. And last thing, I also want to test if it is available through HTTP. So my proxy is deployed using this Kong proxy me. And I can see this is the default output of my gateway. Next thing I want to do is deploy our CRDs. So there are no gateways that related to my networking. There's some custom resource definition from Istio, some custom resource definition, but this is not what we need. We need to deploy this gateway CRDs. We will use customize command. That's the custom resource definition we need to have and we need to use. Now, next thing, we need to enable gateway support in Quonk Ingress Control. In order to do so, we need to enable future gates gateway equals true and restart our Quonk Ingress installation. We'll wait a few seconds until our Quonk pod will be up and running. 
And after that, we will introspect the logs and see that support for gateway was indeed enabled. Configuration was successfully picked up and we see that Ingress controller enabled this configuration for gated feature. Also, it started a controllers for gateway, allowing to listen in gateway class and gateway objects. Next, we need to enable this gateway by creating gateway class with con. And we also need to create a gateway that will be instance of this gateway class. The way how they map together when we created gateway class, we defining a name. And we use this name when we specify gateway class name. So gateway was created. Our gateway pointing to Kong, it uses internal IP address and it uses external IP address. So let's validate this. Our configuration is still working. So it still responds from Kong. We're good to go. Next thing, we need to deploy our application. It's just a simple application that prints back to future quotes. And it also has a service that exposes this application through the port 8080. The service is up and running and we're good to go. Now we need to provide external access. For this, we need to define HTTP route. In this case, HTTP route will have API version of gateway networking alpha 2, will have a name back to future, and it will be run under Quang gateway with backend reference to service, back to future quote service, and we assign this to path. So let's apply this. So this HTTP route is deployed. So when I do I get indeed response from my back to future service. As we see communications handled by Kong and everything works. Okay. So I would like to point out that is an experimental release. We would like you to try this functionality and let us know what you think. The best way to do this is join our GitHub discussions or Kong Nation forum. If you found this video useful or at least entertaining, please consider subscribing. If you want to be notified when the new videos and tutorials will be available on our YouTube channel, enable notifications. As of now, my name is Viktor Gamov and as always, have a nice day.